Hi everyone, I'm Elaine Quijano. It wasn't a surprise, but it sure was exhilarating for the Hillary Clinton campaign. The former Secretary of State claimed victory in the South Carolina primary, defeating Bernie Sanders by a wide margin. In her victory speech in Columbia, Clinton said her win proves that by sticking together, barriers can be broken. Today you sent a message in America when we stand together. When we stand together, there is no barrier too big to break. We've now gone through four early states, and I want to congratulate Senator Sanders on running a great race. And, and tomorrow, this campaign goes national. Despite what you hear, we don't need to make America great again. America has never stopped being great. But, but we do need to make America whole again. Instead of building walls, we need to be tearing down barriers. Roll Call columnist John Allen and politics reporter Liz Plank are with me here in New York. In Washington, we have CBS News senior political editor Steve Chigaris and CBSN contributor Linda Tran, a founding partner at 270 Strategies. We also have DeMarco Morgan and CBS News elections director Anthony Salvanto at the CBS News decision desk. They have an inside look at the numbers. DeMarco. Uh, good evening, Elaine. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we saw tonight. Anthony is here to break it all down for us. Results pouring in here. Yeah, well, you know, we, we projected this race early, right at, <laughs> right. Right at 7 o'clock, and that was because in the exit polls, we saw a very clear win for Hillary Clinton. She did well everywhere in the state. You know, you look around the state, and we talk to voters every place, and they said they thought she had the right experience. Huge 94. numbers here. 94 to 6, right? That means her campaign message got through. That was exactly what she wanted voters to think. We don't often see numbers that big, though, so that really is striking. Women age 45 and older, we talked a little bit about this as we were going through the night. Remember, this is, these are folks who remember the Clinton administration, oh, yeah. right? If you're and over been 45. been loyal to the Clintons, yeah. And have been loyal uh, to the Clintons. So, you know, if you're under 45, maybe your memories of that are a little hazier, but, but over 45, certainly. And so you've got 85 to 15. So when she trades on experience, that's really what's part of that package, right? And uh, now black voters, this is really the big key. 87 to 13, but they make up a majority of the electorate in South Carolina. And so that has been in many, many ways what she was counting on to, uh, you know, to reverse that momentum that Sanders had built up uh, out of New Hampshire. And they definitely came through for her. Those are big, big numbers among African Americans. And it portends well for her as we go forward, because in the South, you see a large portion of that Democratic base is is black voters and so going forward she might have a good super tuesday as well and we talked about this again african-american voters have been with the clintons for quite some time now affectionately uh, referring to bill clinton as the first black president that was until uh, barack obama uh, came about let's talk now about what's next for hillary clinton moving forward yeah. for super tuesday and sanders as sure, well. sure sure well a couple of things you want to take out of this right first was the very widespread win now not all the data is counted up yet but you see how this map is all blue? That's a big win for Hillary wow. Clinton. Every place you see blue, she is leading. And you know, this means two things. One, it means she's going to get the lion's share of delegates because delegates are given out by portions in the state. You went up here, you went down here, you get delegates. Well, that means that she's gonna get delegates from everywhere. The other thing you learn here is that she has a widespread appeal that it seems like a lot of these counties, which are similar to counties in Texas, in Georgia, it's a lot of them more rural. If she can translate that same kind of support over into Super Tuesday, she might well see that pattern again. What Bernie Sanders has to do is find pockets where he can pick up delegates. This isn't just about South Carolina now, it's about those other states too. If he can pick up delegates here and there, then he hangs on, he weathers the storm through Super Tuesday. So was there a lesson that Clinton sort of learned along the way, because clearly, she got it handed to her in New Hampshire, and it was tied in Iowa, 
Yeah, I think one of the things is familiarity. I think these are voters who were familiar with Hillary Clinton. Bernie Sanders didn't spend as much time campaigning here, and I think that showed up. I think also what you saw in these numbers was people wanting to continue President Obama's policies. Well, that's something that might play to Hillary Clinton's strength as well. Okay, you know when when you say that, and that that's built into right experience a little bit. Obviously, she served in mm -hmm. the Obama administration. Well, that will play well for her as well, also. But you know the other part of it is that demographically these states make sense for her. She had a harder time up in New Hampshire. You had more liberal Democrats. You had a lot of more affluent Democrats. And frankly, you had a lot of younger voters. Now, if Bernie Sanders can't keep those younger voters turning out, then that, that, uh, he's going to have some problems going forward. And as we look at these live pictures, again, coming out of South Carolina, uh, just after uh, Hillary Clinton just finished her uh, uh, speech to her supporters there, again, Super Tuesday, any close calls or do you think there will be some nail biters like the competition in, of course, Iowa and uh, Nevada? Yeah, look, she's been up in the polling in a lot of the southern states, but uh, Bernie Sanders might try to take a shot at something like New Hampshire, at maybe the Minnesota caucuses. There are places where organizing will matter, where that passion that's behind his campaign might matter. What the real challenge for him is, as he does go, as we do go south, making inroads with African-American voters. You saw the overwhelming here, the numbers here tonight, and I think that's the big lesson out of this. Unless he can start to make those inroads, he will have a harder time picking up delegates as we go forward in some of these states, and certainly on Super Tuesday. All right, hats off to you and your team as well. We'll see you on Tuesday. Thanks, Busy Marco. day.